Easy. This is your mess. You tie her up and make sure you lock the door on the way out. Yeah, yeah. I need more time. Are you hungry? I think we have some groceries left over. I could eat. I'll go make us some dinner. Just a moment. Oh, Captain, I'm so sorry. No problem. I know how busy your time is, Detective. I'm, just, I'm so... Cole Hendrickson, 21-year-old university student. Last scene going to office hours. Who's the professor? Chris Kelly. She works in philosophy. I'll get right on this. You better. Because if you don't, you're done here. Chris, dinner's ready. Good, I'm starving. the first time you've ever cooked for me. I didn't even realize you knew how. Did Rachel teach you? I don't want to talk about Rachel or about Cole. Fine. What do you want to talk about? Us. What happened to us, Chris? Time. At the beginning, we only focused on our similarities. You have so many differences, Morgan. We'll both be happier once we're divorced. You can't honestly believe that. We can be just as happy as we were on our first date. Just give us a chance. I mean, I know I haven't been treating you right as of late, but that changes now, today. I mean, remember our first adventure together? I want to watch you do it. Just walk in. The door's unlocked. I can't do this. What? Where are you going? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I, I, I just couldn't go through with it. I, I don't see myself as a killer. Give me your wallet and your watch and nothing will happen to her. Why'd you make me carry this all the way here? You couldn't just leave it in the car. Why not? Look, I am not losing sight of this until I know it's six feet under. You're cute when you're nervous. Pick it up, pick it up now. What, no! I'm so sorry. Hey, Derek, where have you been? Oh, I I've been here all night. Well, thanks for ditching me. I had the worst date night ever. She made me pay $8 for a glass of wine. $8 for a single glass of wine. So what have you been doing all night? Uh, um, I, I've been, uh, I, I've been. What was that? That, um, that, 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 that was my cat. You don't own a cat. Damn it, ouch. Is that Chris? Is she in there? Yes. Why is she in the closet? She's naked. Um, uh, we, we were, we were kind of doing it earlier. Wow. This is great, man. I knew you had it in you. In the coat closet. That's some... Wow. Such a gentleman, Morgan. Whatever, man. Look, I don't want her to be uncomfortable or anything, so could you please just hide in your room or something? All right, I'm going. But tomorrow, I want every detail. Fine, just go. Every detail. Yeah, yeah. Bar 
sorry. That's fine. Don't you ever leave me in a closet with a dead body again. I'm sorry, I panicked. That's the last thing you want to do. You need to learn to stay cool and enjoy yourself. Okay, cool and enjoy myself. I can do that. Oh, and Morgan? Uh-huh. Don't you dare give him any of the details. <laughs> no. Now, where's that shovel? What are you doing? Well, what does it look like? We have to bury the body, don't we? You have to leave your mark first. Leave our mark? Yeah. All good serial killers have their signature. The son of Sam always left notes at the scene of the crime. The Zodiac Killer always marked his victims with his namesake. Me? I make sure there are no signs of external distress. Now it's your turn. I want you to have this. Something to remember our adventures by. I love it. Listen, Morgan, I'm not denying how great things used to be. I've loved you since our first kill. Part of me still loves you. It's just not that simple. But of course it is. I have been trying to get a hold of you and Chris all night. I'm just going to let myself in. Morgan? Chris? Calm down, man. I'm just running because you dropped your wallet. I back away slowly from the button. We're gonna take a walk, you and I. Move. Turn around. What do you want from me? Look, call I want our answers, okay? If you cooperate with me, there won't be any problems. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Morgan Spencer. Chris's husband. It is not what you think. Oh, don't start off with lies now. You need me to trust you. Okay, okay so I'll tell you anything that you want to know. Why does my wife feel like she needs an affair? What am I doing wrong? You're asking for relationship advice at gunpoint? Yes, now answer the question, pretty boy. Pretty boy. Okay, I, I pay attention to her. She says that you haven't had a real conversation with her in over a year. It's been even longer since you've done something nice for her. She says that things haven't gone well with, with her job since she got here. That you resent her. I don't resent her. Okay, so those are her words, not mine. I can see why she'd think that. I'm just so frustrated that my career's at a standstill. Okay, maybe you can tell that to her yourself. Now, now why don't you put the gun down? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Grab a paper and a pen. Now, quickly. What do you, what do you want me to do? Now, listen closely. I want you to write to the president of the university, listing all the details of your affair. I want you to write all the nights that you met with my wife and all the things you did to her. Hurry up! Thank you. 
Wait, wait, what are you doing? Eliminated the competition. That's a footprint. She definitely went this way. Who are you? Why are you doing this to me? It's nothing personal. You're just... A loose end that needs to be tied up. Nice of you to show up. She's your wife, isn't she? You're sick, people. It's everyone else who's sick. You can carry her home. this time. Look, we can't hit her with a shovel again, okay? She'll be dead before we even get to question her. You'd be devastated, wouldn't you? Ha! Devastated about what? Your girlfriend's death. That's why you helped her escape, isn't it? Look, it's not what it seems like. So you didn't tie her up poorly on purpose and leave the door unlocked? Well, I did do those things, but... I just don't understand why you're trying to make it seem like you want me back. You obviously don't want me anymore. Is this just some type of sick revenge? Make me fall in love with you just so you can break my heart? No, of course not. What are you two lovebirds doing in there? What is he doing here? Oh, this is as good as mine. What do we do? I guess I'll just have to go in and find out for myself. <laughs> <laughs> 